Welcome to this two-part video series about the installation of the Cydexis 4 software, released in March 2015. Part 1 handles the server part. Part 2, the client installation. Since the capabilities of Cydexis 4 have been enhanced, the server and workstations will have to be more powerful than with older versions. Please look at the newest site survey available at densplicerona-support.com to make sure that you can install Cydexis 4 on a particular computer. Do not install Cydexis 4 on non-compliant computers. Before installing Cydexis 4, the PC compatibility checker should be used on the server and every PC that needs to show X-ray images. Remember that a mixed installation of Cydexis 4 and Cydexis XG is not possible. Go to the densplicerona-support.com website and choose Imaging, Software, Cydexis Software, Cydexis 4. Look for the software checker tool and download it. The best way to use this tool is to load it on a USB stick and then go from PC to PC and run it from the stick. The results for each PC will be stored in an XML file on the USB stick. The test is a three-step process. First, you collect the PC's information. Then you select which software and hardware you want to use on this computer. And finally, the tool will analyze the data and show you where incompatibility exists or upgrades are necessary. Here, for instance, the free space on the hard drive is only 52 gigabytes, not enough for a server, and the reporter software is not yet released for Cydexis 4. If this customer relies on the reporter software, it is recommended to wait with the Cydexis 4 installation and install Cydexis XG for now. In the initial screen of the software checker tool, you also see the Pass Mark tool. This third-party tool will test the graphic board for performance. As you can see here, NVIDIA cards will pass with a lower pass mark value and are generally recommended. Make sure you update the PC Checker tool regularly, as software compatibilities might change. As with all software installations, make sure you have administrative rights before starting. Also, make sure that antivirus software is disabled during the installation process. Please note that Microsoft does not recommend to install SQL servers on domain controllers. Create a PData folder at the desired location and share it with full rights. Create the folder, right-click on it and choose Properties, and then Advanced Sharing. Make sure that the permissions of the share are set to full rights for everyone using the system. Here we only have the Everyone user. Also, set the security for the folder to All Rights for All Users or Everyone. You might have to create the Everyone group. If a NAS system or dedicated file server is used and the Cydexis server application is not being installed at that machine, you will have to add a special user to this machine, Cydexis for service, with a password shown here. Create a folder for the Cydexis 4 installation data in PData and copy the content of the Cydexis 4 DVD into this folder. This will ensure that later installations and provisioning tasks will be performed without asking for the disk. Now we are ready to install Cydexis 4. Remove the DVD from the drive and start the installation from inside the created Cydexis 4 data directory. Right click. Run as Administrator. A menu will appear. You will notice that while the user interface of the software has been changed greatly, the installation itself has stayed almost the same. Choose to install Cydexis and then Microsoft SQL Server Express. Depending on the version of Cydexis and the operating system, 
a SQL Express Server 2008 R2 or 2014 will be installed. This installation will take a while. Please note that at this point, we are installing a Microsoft product. If this installation fails, something in your operating system is not cooperating. Did you install all Microsoft updates? After the SQL installation is finished, the system will reboot and try to continue the installation. Before doing this, you can check the correct function of the SQL service in the SQL Server Configuration Manager. You should be able to restart the service without any messages. Also, set the browser service to automatic start. This can aid in future troubleshooting. Now we are ready to install Sidexis 4. Start at the server. After launching the Auto Run application, right click, Run as Administrator. A menu will appear. Select Sidexis and then Sidexis 4 Server. This installation will not only install server components onto the server system, but unlike with past Sidexis versions, we also will have a Sidexis master station directly on the server. As you can see here, if any prerequisite software is missing, it will also be installed. Depending on the current status of this PC, this can take a while. No additional input is needed to install these software updates. The following step is the installation of Sidexis 4 into the Program Files folder. Accept the license agreement and continue. It is not necessary to change any settings here. After this step is finished, the server provisioning step should start automatically. This operation can take a moment. Please be patient. If it does not start automatically, search for the provisioning folder under Program Files, Serona, Sidexis 4, Installation, Provisioning, and start the server provisioning wizard manually. The server provisioning will first test the computer for required prerequisites and, if fulfilled, let you choose the PData folder that will host the images. Continue and schedule the daily SQL backup time. The practice still will need a backup system to backup PData to an external medium. Continue and make sure to include the import of the demo database. The provisioning steps install various modules and will display error conditions should they occur. The button on the bottom left will display the log file for the installation and can be used at any time. If an error should occur, you can consult the log file for further information or submit the log to the Serona Technical Service team. The red spot on the top right signals an error condition. In this case, the firewall could not be configured. On this computer, the firewall service is not running and we will need to enable and start automatically both the base filtering engine and the Windows firewall service. Make sure to activate the base filtering engine first because the firewall service depends on it for a correct start. Note that while the firewall service must be activated, it does not matter if the actual status of the firewall is on or off. After enabling these services or fixing any other issues, run the server provisioning again. 
The server and client provisioning tools are very handy to make sure all components are properly loaded and can be run anytime in troubleshooting situations. Step through the wizard one more time. The import of the demo database will take a while. Please be patient. This time, the server provisioning has finished successfully, and you will be asked if you also want to install a client on the server. This can be helpful for later troubleshooting, so we agree and run it. The client provisioning process looks almost identical to the server provisioning. If any errors occur, you can look into the log for further information or submit the log to the Serona Technical Service. After the installation is finished, you can start Cydexis 4. It might take a moment to start. The server installation is finished. Thank you for watching this video. We are looking forward to seeing you in one of our many training classes in Charlotte or in the field. You can find more information at our website, denspliceronasupport.com. Mm -hmm.